0573. While we're waiting, Mark is running for state representative. You can find him at warden, uh, www.markwarden.com. He is in his first term, and he has decided that he is going to take on the challenge of a floatorial district. He will not only represent the town of Goffstown, where he lives, and the town of Ware, which he currently represents, but add to that now the town of Deering. And joining us is Mark Warden. Good morning, Mark. You know, we, we had a lot, of, uh, a lot of successes in this last legislative term, and then were, there were some disappointments. Uh, from, from your perspective, what's the, uh, the, the thing that you'd like to see that we did not get accomplished uh, be back on the docket and try to try to attack this next time. I appreciate that, Mike. On the committee I sit is criminal justice and public safety. So what we see a lot of in there is the list of laws that have criminal penalties and a lot of these things that are tying up the court systems and the prosecutor's offices and law enforcement are what we call victimless crimes. So I've been working on that from a standpoint of being on the inside now as part of government, if you will, to say, okay, where do we need to focus the efforts of law enforcement and where should we be, you know, maybe looking towards other types of uh, tr treatment, let's say, whether it's chemical addiction treatment or uh, um, psychological treatment, instead of just locking people up and throwing away the key. So uh, one thing that I've always been interested in is the victimless crime part of our statutes, and I think there's a way to responsibly roll those back, keep people in their jobs and taking care of their families instead of putting them in jail cell for behavior that maybe isn't, it isn't harming anybody else, but may but it sound offensive to some people. So that's one area. And, of course, the other areas we want to look at are the um, health and human services. That's the biggest part of the budget, and there are a number of welfare programs that I think need to be modernized, updated, and paired their back so that it's not such a burden on the taxpayers. Mark, what, what, when you say a victimless crime, what, what, what sort of do you have in mind there that um, you would seek to change the, their legal status? Okay, there are a number of them, uh, but certainly there are some, for example, white collar crimes where there may be a victim, but where restitution maybe is more proper than putting somebody in jail for six months or a year, because then the victim is victimized twice, once when he gets uh, defrauded, and secondly, we have to pay to keep somebody in jail. There also are crimes against the state where people, for example, don't fill out the right form, or they didn't uh, comply with the regulation. They get hit with fines, or sometimes jail fines. Those things, there's no victim, and they should, uh, again, not be penalizing the taxpayers to incarcerate those people. But, of course, the most popular one uh, that has seen bipartisan support among Republicans and uh, Democrats is possession of small amounts of marijuana. So the use of cannabis by people for personal use has no victim, nobody's being harmed, yet uh, there's an amazing amount of resources, financial and personnel and otherwise, that go into fighting this supposed uh, war on marijuana users in New Hampshire. Now, uh, Mark, um, when you're when you're out there on the campaign trail and knocking on doors and explaining who you are and the accomplishments of the of the legislature and things that you were involved in, what are some of the accomplishments that are that are um, having the greatest impact? The things you're getting responses back from the voters out there? Are they are they saying, "Yeah, I'm really glad you guys accomplished"? You know, fill in the blank. What what is the thing you're hearing that people are happiest about of what went on in the last legislature? Taxes is really the biggest issue that I hear about from people in the district. We have fairly high taxes and property taxes here in Gosstown, and uh, Ware is getting up there also. And so people realize that there are certain functions of government they, they feel are essential, but they don't feel they're getting a the good value for the dollar. So that's what they are saying to me. Hey, Mark, way to go, you guys. You guys uh, cut the budget. You repealed some of those ridiculous tax and fee increases that Democrats put in for two terms. Keep, keep it up. Let's go a little further. You know, I ask people, hey, are you way uh, better off now than you were in 2006? They say, no, we were doing fine back then. So to roll back to the uh, spending levels of 2006, 2005, is not going to hurt anybody. But 
rather it's going to free up the marketplace and those dollars instead of being spent on tax, taxes and uh, big government programs will be invested back in the private sector and that's in fact where jobs are created. Draw large time is 8.14. We're on the phone with State Representative Mark Warden. He currently represents the towns of Gosstown and Ware, and he's running for re-election to the general court. However, he's seeking to represent this time a floatorial district that not only includes the towns of Gosstown and Ware, but also the town of Deeren. Mark, uh, are there any specifics that you take a look at in the, in the state budget or in state government in general, the areas that you would like to target for reform, reduction, or perhaps elimination? Well, the two big areas of spending are education and health and human services. And most of your listeners know that both of those agencies or those departments receive a lot of federal money. So uh, it's isn't, not... Isn't it interesting that the, the biggest areas of government involvement uh, and cost are also the biggest areas of problem in the, in the uh, society? That's exactly right. But those departments thrive on money, and they, in fact, uh, like to see these problems in the, in the society. It's sort of a twisted motivation for these people, right? The more people act badly, the more people unemployed, the more people that need their help, the better it is for them. So what I do bring to the table here is more of a skeptical view of government. Even though I'm inside it now, I think uh, the voters need to be represented by somebody who is cynical and realizes that government is not the answer to every little perceived problem we have in society. Indeed. Mark, if people want to learn more about you or your campaign, how can they best do that? The best place to start is on Facebook. I have a Mark Warden for State Representative page on Facebook. And also they can visit my website directly, which is markwarden.com. That's Mark with a K and Warden like Prison Warden. <laughs> which 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 government uh, which government would like to ha uh, uh, put us in jail? Probably all of us, right? Well, I think they would, and I just want to uh, share with uh, you and the others that I think government's too big. I really do think we need less government, less regulation on businesses and people's personal lives. You know, people in New Hampshire are Yankee conservatives. They know what to do. They use common sense, but it seems like all that common sense goes out the window when people go in the door of the State House in Concord. So uh, I sort of I feel myself as an outsider. You guys were talking earlier about how the Tea Partiers are going against the uh, establishment, and I feel like I'm one of the small guys, and I hope the voters will see that too, because when I talk to voters in the door and in the grocery store and everywhere else, they just say, hey, you know, leave me alone. I know I have to take care of my family, my business, my yard, my house. You guys get out of our way and let this economy thrive. All right, Mark, thank you for joining us here this morning on...